How's it going, guys? I need a Bronco, TRX4 Bronco. That, bl that blue one isn't out yet, though? Oh, my God, slip it. Oh man, it's good to be back home. I love Vegas. That was a grueling trip. I might have done it a little too big. But we don't have much rest time because we are gonna race the Lone Star Nitro Challenge, which coincidentally is put on by Mr. Joey Christensen, the guy who did Silver State. So he's coming to Texas and he's doing a race and that's in two weeks. So I'm gonna get a couple of battery packs in, just to kind of shake the, the rust off since I really didn't get much driving time at Silver State. But it's good to be back and to play with toy cars. Like the actual toy cars, which I bought another one, as you saw in the intro. RC Box Club, still open guys, go check it out. Got some really cool stuff coming, you're not going to want to miss it. Also, shout out to MCRC, I got a whole bunch of cool stuff from Silver State that people gave me. I will go over those things, however this was in my RC stuff as I was pulling my stuff out, getting it all settled back in, uh, MCRC. He makes charge leads. Matt, the owner, super nice guy. I met him at, at Silver State. That's the good thing about those races. You end up networking and making new friends. And for you guys who don't know, networking is super important. But this video isn't about racing. Today, guys, we are going to unbox three cars. They're the same car. They're kind of new. They're new colors. You know how Traxxas does it. But three cars we're going to unbox. Yes, I bought another TRX4M. Just spoiled what the car is. But there's actually a good reason. There's a good reason, and I'll tell you guys in a second. But I'm also gonna tell you the super sad truth about the TRX4M, and give you my opinion on the best upgrade for it. Here it is, the new TRX4M. I say new because the new color, it's that color right there. For all you haters out there like, well, why does Mark have so many TRX4Ms? Why does he keep buying brand new ones? Uh, the reason why I bought this brand new one is for a very good reason, a very, very good reason. So one of a relatively new racer in my area, she's a teacher and she's a kindergarten teacher and she is doing a special relay race with RC cars, TRX4Ms, for her kindergarten, kindergarten class. And the race is called Race to First, like Race to First Grade. She reached out to me and asked me if I had any extra TRX4Ms that I could loan them so they could drive. And I was like, I don't. But I will go buy some new ones that you can drive. So I have three <laughs> brand new TRX4Ms that we're going to unbox today. Obviously, it's going to be pretty repetitive. They're all the same, uh, just different colors. But yeah, I'm going to let a whole bunch of kindergartners bash them, drive them, race them. She said they'll take good care of them. I mean, it's a TRX4M. How bad can you beat it up? But here is the tan one. There it is. Backside. Oh my gosh, don't ruin the... Uh, Ah! Oh, so crispy. Look at that, the tan. I like the tan. Actually, my favorite color is the orange. I like the Defender a lot better than the Bronco. Tell me, guys, in the comments, tell me which one you like best. The Bronco or the Defender? I think the Bronco actually drives better. Like, it has a... It's a little bit lighter, like the body a little bit lighter, so it crawls better. But I think the Defender just looks freaking amazing so my favorite color defender is the orange and then it's probably going to be a tie between the green and the gray this one's kind of growing on me what do you think you guys like the tan i don't know what do you think we should drive this thing on the track so for the proper unboxing comes with the remote the battery a usb charger the car the the body obviously and then it comes with your manual and then a little itty bitty set of tools right there so that is the unboxing of a trx4m that's all that comes in this thing there's there's nothing else in there god there's nothing better than a brand new rc car brings me so much ha we're gonna have ha this kind of type of i'm so happy i can't even speak we're gonna have this type of happiness three times in this video it doesn't matter if it's the same car it's still exciting oh look how clean it is brand spanking new all right here we go 
Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. One hour later. Um. <laughs> I, guess, I guess that. Oh, oh. I'm driving one hand with no thumb steer, guys. Shame on me. Oh, yeah. I was a little anticlimactic. All right, the other two are at home. Let's go. All right, the next unboxing. So in regards to the sad truth about the TRX-4M. So the TRX-4M is really cool because of all the really, really cool hop-ups you can do. I mean, seriously, they have hop-ups galore. And they're very affordable hop-ups also. So that's what makes it really appealing, is you can kind of customize it however you like it and do whatever you want to it, and it doesn't really break the bank. The sad truth is, oh, this is my favorite color. The sad truth is, you don't really need anything for this car. Like seriously, you can bust this car out and drive it. There's no parts that you really need to upgrade. I think it might be a stretch to say you need a servo. I haven't blown a servo yet. It hasn't seemed to be a common problem with these things. Uh, but the car is really, really, really good out of the box. The truck. Some people get really frustrated whenever I say RC car instead of RC truck. I use RC car just in general. These are RC cars. Anyways, you don't need anything. That's the sad truth. Just buy the car and drive it. None of the hop-ups that I put on it that I feel made it that much better. Like it made it probably perform a little bit better, but not where you had to have it. Like adding weight to it might help um, for the, the crawling perspective, but in regards to fun, unless you're like gonna competitively crawl this thing, you don't need anything for these things. They're freaking amazing. Now, a bonus point, an upgrade that I do think you should get are the lights. The lights are, it's a pro scale kit, so it has reverse lights. I believe it has brake lights too, but I know it has reverse lights. I don't even know if it has reverse lights. No, I can't think. Anyways, it is a pro scale kit, so it has like, you can have it where when you turn it off, the hazards come on. Um, it's a cool light kit, and for the price, it's really, really affordable. To install it, really, really easy, four screws. You don't need much for a light kit. I think that is <clears throat> an upgrade that you should get on all of them. It just makes the car that much cooler. It's affordable, and all the other crazy stuff, you don't really need. Oh, look at that. My, my favorite color of all. This, this is my favorite. I'm actually going to take this body off, keep this body mint, put one of my older bodies on there for them, which they're still in great condition, but... This body is staying mint with me. Oh, God, look at that body. So clean. I am going to put a light kit on this body. All right, here's the last unboxing we're going to do today. Now, there is a fragile point on this car. There is one thing that I feel like will inevitably, in, inevitably break. However, there's nothing you can really do about it. So that's why I won't consider it something that you need. This is the gray. I love the gray. The gray looks good. Ta-da! Three unboxings in one video. Jeez, guys, can y'all can y'all beat that? Brand new Traxxas car unboxings. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh, look at that. The gray looks sick. We're about to put all these in the sun so you can see it. Anyways, the part that I was gonna say will break that you really can't do much about are these little mirrors, little side mirrors. I did break a couple of side mirrors and I'm pretty confident when I let these kindergartners drive these cars, that that's probably gonna be the part that breaks. The thing that sucks about that part is you have to get the entire kit, like the, the molding kit, which I believe comes with like the rear, the, the tire, these mounting pieces, um, and some other trim pieces like the handles and things like that. The good thing is you can get them. The bad thing is it comes with everything and it's not the cheapest part when it comes to just buying little pieces of plastic. So that would be the only thing, like if I were to load up on spares, like things that I think I'd actually break, it'd probably be those <laughs> review mirrors because I mean, just as you can think, if you're driving it, especially if you're down on rocks, it falls down this side, those little plastic mirrors will break off. But look at that gray. Oh man, that looks so freaking good. Holy crap, guys, what do y'all think? <laughs> man, all these look absolutely amazing. Wow, okay, if I had to rank them, Favorite, second favorite, third, fourth. I don't know, it's kind of tied between these two. That orange though looks so good. Look at that. Oh man, these kind of things make me so happy. I don't know what it is. Just new RC cars, they, 
Oh, oh man, look at how good those look. Look at that. That's pretty. That's a pretty cool shot from behind there. All the Land Rover stickers on there. <laughs> oh man. This one is my fully modded one. Yeah, we're not sending this off to get beat up. We're going to let these get beat up. Can we get a moment of silence for these cars before they get handed over to a bunch of kindergartners to drive to first place? <laughs> no! Well, that's a wrap, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.